Hey guys, welcome to Outpost Pottery. I'm MJ. Today we're doing candles. Now, I love doing these. I made this one with the old profile rib. I think we call this the tulip rib. But this is at 100%. This was at 118%. I think I printed a rib at around 110%. If you want to do it too, you can uh, get one of these in the links below. So I want to show you my process. Pardon the noise. I have wax going here and I don't know if you can see take a look in here it's kind of this is recycled wax so you'll see stuff floating in there I just threw it all in there oh we got some we get some fog on the screen <laughs> on the lens so you'll see stuff floating in the bottom or in the top and that's the good part about you can recycle wax because whatever junk is in there it's either going to settle to the bottom or come on up to the top and you can see you know here's a wick that was burned uh, it was used and now it's not used anymore and I can, I mean wax is wax is wax so you don't really need, it doesn't need to be new wax to be used in a new candle. But let me show you, uh, so we got the tulip rib, the wax is melting. Let me show you how I make the actual uh, wicks. So come on in here, let me show you in here. I either do it with one stick straight across if it's not too big or three sticks let me show you the difference you can kind of see see how I did that there I like to cut these wicks that looks really cool when you when you pour it and when it burns it burns a little heavy, a little brighter than when you just have one wick but I do it both those ways I do it either a half stick cut this in half or I cut this into thirds and I do it in like a triangle type shape or I'll just do it straight across with the half one right there. Let me show you how I do that. Whoosh, are you all right? So as potters we have a crazy advantage in the candle making world because we have tons of clay. Now usually what they'll give you in the candle making world is this right here. Actually we have several advantages. One advantage is that we get to make our own vessels. So right now I know there happens to be a glass supply chain shortage for candle makers here in Waco, uh, but I make my own glass. <laughs> I make my own vessel. So that's one advantage. Two is when you buy candle wicks, they're not cheap, but you buy them for a wood wick, you'd buy these little metal pieces like this, and that's nice. Look how well that stands up. Or if you have uh, uh, other wicks, you have they look like that. One problem is that's expensive. Two, you can't put anything in the microwave if you have that on there. Uh, so to melt the wax, for instance, if you wanted to get it out real quick, I could pop this in the microwave and just get the wax out. There's nothing metal or metallic in here, so you could do that no problem. So what I use is I use clay. So I'll just get a little bit of clay like this. And again, this is instead of this little metal stand here. Roll a ball, and we'll do the three, the, the try one first. Get in here, brother. Take a look. So I'll just do like that. I'll kind of get it tapped down just a little bit. Okay, that's in there. And now I'll bring it over here and I'll plop it down here. And I'll just stand it up right, kind of where I want it. Can you see that? It doesn't matter if it's if it's not touching all the way down there. Really, it's going to be close enough. So that's how I do the wax, uh, the uh, the wick. Let me show you. I think we're just about done here. Let me turn this off and show you how I do the pouring. There's there's a trick to this too. So. You can either pour your candle all at once, or you can pour, what I like to do is pour a little bit, like maybe a half inch at the bottom of the vessel, and do that for all my, all my vessels, all my candles at once. And then that's gonna harden, and then that wick is not going anywhere. So then you can come back and you can go through a second round and get, top them off, all the way up to the top. So that's just one of the tricks. You know, I tell my kids, you never know how to do anything until you've done it a hundred times. That's one of those tricks that you learn after doing something hundred after pouring candles a hundred times. So uh, let's do it. Let's do a few of these. Sometimes I need to use a 
um, a cloth here to handle this. And another tip, uh, watch your shoes, because if you don't want to get wax on your shoes, this can drip sometimes. So let's just do just a little bit here. That's enough. Generally, it's best to have them on the edge. Watch your shoes too. So once this layer, initial layer dries, that's going to be stuck down there and, and I won't have to worry about moving the wicks at all. So that would be the first round. And we'll cut to and show you topping them all off in just a minute. All right, so the, let me show you here. Come on in here. You can see the bottoms of these have, have uh, these four have dried. So I can kind of touch this and move it around. I can move it a little bit if I need to, but not a lot. It's kind of stuck. So that means I'm all safe. I don't have to worry about being all delicate. These are still uh, not dry yet. So if I move these, I got to be careful. And I can, and there is still room to like kind of fix the wicks if, if it's not quite standing at the angle that I want it to stand at on these that I just um, poured the bottom layer. But now let's do the top layer. I think I still got a good amount. So let's take it all the way up. I'm going to take it all the way up to just about an eighth of an inch from the top. Wood wick candles are very unique in that they, you don't want the, the wick to be very exposed. It's actually worse for the burn if it's And afterwards, I'm going to go, go in and trim these so they're all even. Now, if you look, I still have some wax in there I need to burn, but there's a lot of stuff in there that obviously I don't want going in my new candles. So there's junk at the bottom, and then there's those old wicks. And uh, so you don't want to pour all the way to the end when you're doing this. Okay. Hey, I'm MJ Perry at Outpost Pottery. Thanks for watching and keep on learning. <laughs>